Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to this lab demonstration on the topic of gaining access as well as uh, how to crack the shadow password hash using John the Ripper tool. Okay, so straight away let me go to the lab demonstration. So uh, I want to use MSF console. <clears throat> so let me search the exploit search exploit for the samba vulnerability a service samba services available with the metasploit framework and there is a vulnerability in that so these are the different vulnerabilities that uh, sorry exploits that are related to the samba service so from my experience i know that this particular exploit is a successful one so the index number for that exploit is 15 okay so i use 15 <coughs> and you can see uh, show payloads okay and uh, you can find so many payloads here okay so the payload which uh, is very much successful is this one the reverse netcat okay so reverse netcat where is it reverse netcat so it would be somewhere here understand so uh, by default uh, the metasploit uh, framework is picking up uh, this this uh, payload okay for the for this exploit okay so this is the exploit and this one is the payload okay <clears throat> okay now let's see the options okay so we have to fix the target ip address and also when you say that okay my virtual machine um, has two adapters okay um so this one is adapter one net and this one is adapter two is host only adapter and you can notice that the the it is picking up the net adapter ip address okay so with this uh, you cannot uh, from from you cannot uh, make a connection between the metasploit framework and the kali so we have to give the ip of the host only adapter as well as so set our host okay so set our host is 192.168 <coughs> the target ip address so let me see what's the target ip address target ip address So the target IP is 1.10. So I already know the IP of my Kali system. Okay, so let me fix get set L host the attacker system 2.168.1.7. Okay. So then you can see the port. Also, let me change the port of my system attacker system Kali L port. Okay, let me give like some some um, unused port numbers. So if you give any 
port numbers which are already used by some services then the port uh, binding error will uh, be shown so be careful about that so once these parameters are set then we are in the position to uh, exploit so you can see that okay so if you go to the module okay these are the modules we are selecting the module number 15 this module it's an exploit some of the modules if you analyze it would show um, axillary so in case uh, we are using the exploit module then we can use either exploit or we can use run okay we have both options but if we are using the auxiliary module then we have to use the run statement so let me use the exploit let me use the exploit <coughs> and it is trying to gain access to the metasploit framework i think it has successfully uh, created a session reverse shell okay so i can ask oh my so it's telling root so we have uh, gained access to the root shell in the metasploit framework okay so this is um, this is one of the way uh, okay to gain access to the target so once you gain the root access there are many ways okay that you can use to um, put the backdoor uh, and to maintain the access uh, in a continuous manner and also like you can search the log files different log files in the metasploit and you can uh, remove them so this would serve the uh, task number six and task number seven of your assignment okay so further after this let me demonstrate uh, one more point also uh, like how to access the shadow file and um, how to um, uh, crack the password of the users okay with the hashed password in the shadow file okay from the exploit framework so you can see that cat I am not using uh, sudo because already I am I have gained the root uh, shell access etc shadow so there is a user here okay Hamoud okay so this Hamoud um, let me copy this stuff here okay and I go to another shell because I am in the Kali okay uh, so what I'm going to do is like echo uh, then let me copy this stuff place selection then go to the end single goals greater than okay so meta meta 2 meta spotable 2 okay so hashed hashed uh, so I can say meta2 hash is the file name. So I have saved this to, to some uh, file name. Okay. So let me create a word list. Okay. Um, nano word. Okay. Dot list. Okay, then let me give some passwords, common passwords. Okay. Okay, for simplicity, I am not putting too many passwords. Control O, enter, control X. Okay, then let me use the John the Ripper tool. Okay. Sudo John. Okay. John, then let me use word dash dash word list my correct word list. So let me check the syntax once again. 
yeah word list actually it is not word list it is word list okay so what is a word list just now we created word dot list okay and then constraints format is equal to grid okay then what is the name of the file which you want to find the plain text okay so let me check this command so now we have found the password of the user okay that is in the um that is in the metasploit 2 framework okay so so now let me now now with this username and password you can um, you can connect to the remote system using ftp or ssh if if there is a permission for this particular user exist okay that's it uh, thank you very much